Welcome to November. So since this is the month of Thanksgiving, we are going to do a gratitude type of focus reading. Um, so number one, what are the general blessings that we're harvesting this month? Number two, what do I need to be grateful for in regards to health? career, finances, relationships, and then further um, from relationships, like how can I better express gratitude to others in my life? Um, we're going to look at what we should be thankful for in our love relationships or, you know, on our journey to finding those. And then how do I better express, you know, gratitude there as well? Um, looking at our spiritual and personal development path, what are the areas of um, thanks that we should be giving? there and then how do I better express gratitude to myself because you know hashtag self-care um, so this is gonna be a longer reading than usual for November but let's get started <laughs> Leo November okay so they're saying you know you might not be starting this month feeling super happy so when I'm gonna ask you know what are the general blessings that you're gonna be harvesting this month it's like ugh. Why even look into it, right? What they're saying is, you know what? You're getting super organized because when you're not happy, when you're not your shiny Leo um, jubilant self, what it forces you to do is to create a plan. And when you create a plan, then you achieve. And you're very good at being that open-minded, like anything is possible, kind of an energy full of enthusiasm and excitement. And so therefore, you can turn this month around. But it's just about deciding to actually take that first step and creating a plan for yourself. So what should you be grateful for in this month regarding your health? And they're saying uh, whatever it is you already know. So I guess that's going to be variable for each Leo. Um, so it's hard to assess in a general reading. But what they're saying is for some of you, it's the fact that you're either working on quitting something that's not good for you or um, you have recently quit something that's not good for you. So that could be smoking. That could be drinking. That could even just be, you know, um, three mochas a day, you're cutting back to one. <laughs> it's going to be different for everybody, but that's what we should be grateful for in regards to our health. Now, what should we be grateful for in regards to career? And they say, well, you're not really manifesting anything, but that's okay because that means that um, there's not much to complain about right now. So things might kind of just continually progress the way that they have been. Now, what they're saying is that doesn't mean that things aren't going to rapidly shift later, though. So the struggles that maybe you've had in your career historically, it doesn't mean they're going to continue to persist. Maybe through the month of November, things don't seem that different. But coming December, January, February, I'm feeling like February, March, things might really take off for you. Um, they're saying, we want you to think about what is it that you want for your long-term future? What kind of life do you want to live? How much money do you want to make a year? Things like that. Because if you're able to identify specifically what it is, then your spirit guides, your angels can kind of start working on that behind the scenes for you. Now, people are always like, oh yeah, I'm manifesting more money. Um, and then they focus on that. And what they don't realize is like, quite frequently, their dreams are coming true because they're not specific enough. You find a penny on the ground, poof, you know, you were done a solid. You found, you got more money. Um, so you have to be very, very specific about what it is that you want for your long-term um, goals, okay? As far as your finances go, what they're saying is um, th this is going to be a weird month where it's like, okay, things have, are gonna kind of go from chaos to smooth sailing because of the lessons that you've learned. Now, things might have to be abandoned and um, things are going to change positively for you towards the end of the month, or at least you'll be putting in order um, certain changes that will affect you later. But um, those things don't have to be huge things. That could be like, oh, I never watched Hulu. I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to take those $10 or whatever it costs and, you know, invest it into an IRA every month. Something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be huge. It could be a tiny step, but it's a step in the right direction. They're saying you already know kind of what this is, what it is that you need to let go of or, um, you know, walk away from as far as your financial obligations go to create more harmony in your life. And so it's just a matter of taking the step to do it. Uh, as far as relationships go, what do you have to be thankful for? And these are your non-romantic relationships. So they could be family or friendships. Um, they're saying 
positive changes very quickly that kind of come out of nowhere and you might not be super excited about them to be honest but they are for your highest benefit so for example um maybe somebody's like hey change of plans we're gonna do thanksgiving at my house and you're like oh, gross because you wanted to host it because you know for sure it's going to be fabulous if it's at your house but maybe you attend thanksgiving at a cousin's house at a sibling's house and then you meet your soulmate or um, you meet a really awesome business partner or something like that and it completely changes your life so be flexible okay um how can you better express gratitude to uh the people in your life and they're saying um however you want so I guess it's going to be different for everybody. But whatever it is that you would like, you know, for example, um, treat others how you want to be treated. How would you hope that people express gratitude to you? That's exactly the way you should do it this month. Now, as far as your love life relationships go, if you are single, what is there to be thankful for? And they say, your happily ever after does exist. And so you can get there. Whether that is I want to be single forever or I want to find my perfect mates um that is possible for you especially this month but it does uh, it does require you to take an action step so if you're not if you're like yeah i want to end up like in a marriage with like 2.5 kids picket fence like you know whatever um you do have to actually start looking around to see if there's anybody out there that is going to be a good match for you you can't just sit back at home and like expect that prince charming's going to knock on your door and be like knock 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 god sent me i'm your soulmate because that would be creepy as fuck okay um so that's not the way things work we have to take our own steps to move towards it but this is actually a really good month for that if that's what you're looking for whatever it is that you desire as far as what you believe is like the perfect relationship you can find that um but you need to start taking the steps this month now for those of you who are already in a relationship what they say is um, honesty is something you should be thankful for in your relationship, even if you don't love the truth. <laughs> so why is that the case? And they say, because this shows your own personal growth, that you're open, that you are receptive, that you're easy to talk to, that your partner can share things with you, because if they couldn't, then that would be lying right? They would be omitting things, they'd be hiding things from you. And so it actually is a blessing, even if you don't like what your partner has to say, that they feel comfortable and your relationship is solid enough where they can do that. Now, um, how do you better express gratitude towards your partner? And they say uh, temperance. So balancing out both sides of a situation. I might not like what I'm hearing, but I love that you feel comfortable telling me is a perfect example. Um, what should you be thankful for as far as your spirituality goes or your own personal growth and development goes? And they say, um, you know, whatever we've invested as far as our energy, our time and our money goes, like our ship is coming in. These things that we've done to kind of grow as human beings um, on our journey are going to start paying off for us, positive changes. Now, it might not pay off for us in the month of November, but we can start to see that things are start starting to work to our advantage, all of these things that we've learned and we've done. So that is November, my loves, and I will see you in December.